back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Today I am so, so excited. This is literally probably the most excited I've been about a hair color. Okay, today we are doing, as you probably saw in the title, we're doing holographic or prism hair or whatever you want to call it. And obviously it's not real holographic or real prism. We're just creating that effect with the rainbow colors. So I already have my sectioning done. I already have my shitty t-shirt that I don't care about. Let's go ahead, let me show you what I am doing with my sectioning and then I'll go over all the colors. I'm gonna be getting that all in and then we'll go over the actual design and how I'm putting it in my hair and we'll see what what effect, how it what it creates and what the final result is. Let's get started. So what I'm doing is basically the full perimeter, okay? So we have the front sections, okay? And all, and then these bottom pieces. So we have the full perimeter already outlined. Now that is going to be my base color. I have a silver uh, that I want to use for it, but I do still have color in my hair, so I'm not sure how that's gonna cover it. So I do plan on also, because my, my roots are so light, I think I'm gonna do a shadow root, like slightly like a dark gray on like a shadow for the, the this perimeter part. And then also I might add some purple to the silver, and so it'll be like a, like a lavender metallic-y kind of color for the base. I'm calling this the base, okay? The perimeter. And then for this top section will also be the base color, which will be my veil to cover over the prism hair or hollow hair or whatever. So it'll kind of create that effect where it'll be like underneath the main hair, but it should blend really well. So. Again, we're gonna do the shadow root with the dark gray and then the silvery purplish kind of color um, for the rest of it. So that's this whole top section. And it's like this, almost like a V, but it's like going down. And then we have these two sections here. These are going to be my, my uh, prism color. I keep saying prism, it's hollow. I like hollow better. The holographic is better than the prism. Even though it's like the same thing basically, right? So. I might I might do a little panel of uh, the prism here just to kind of put a little bit of something in the front but as you can see I have a lot of breakage from bleaching and we want to not bring attention to those pieces so that's why we are going to do like the darker color the base on this and not make it rainbowy but anyways with these panels, we'll see that in a second how I'm planning to do it. This, this is the sectioning. We're gonna do a little, um, what's it called? A slice, we call it a slice in school. So these I'm gonna do slices like this and like this going all the way up where it, till it meets in the middle. And then basically when it falls, it's gonna create a angle like this in the back of my hair. Hopefully. So let's get this started. Let's go over the colors. I'll show you what I have. Also, a big thank you to Eero Eero. I am also kind of working with them. I do not have a discount code, but they did send me these colors. Um, so I want to show you guys how awesome the hair dye is. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. For the colors we have all Eero Eero, Lavender Pastel, Silver Emerald Green, Aqua Pastel, a Peach Pastel, and a Neon Yellow. Beautiful. And for our pattern, I went ahead and swatched it on this paper towel so you can see exactly what I will be doing. So here is the first base color. This is the lavender metallic silvery kind of color for the actual base. And then for the dark shadow root, I did the silver with a touch of black initially. And then you'll see how that changes later on. But these are the, the first base colors. And then all of my regular colors um, all mixed and ready to go in the bowls. They are so beautiful. All right, so before I start putting this on my hair, I have my gloves that I don't care about. My gloves that I don't care about, that makes sense. Um, and 
obviously my colors are all ready to go. Now I did just sample that dark gray that I made in the back as my shadow root and it was just lighter than the purple. It did not cover at all. So what I did is I added a dark purple to that gray that I made, the dark gray, and now it's just like a dark purple. And I think that will work better with the purple color that I'm using as my base. So with that being said, I've already done this section. Sorry I didn't show you. This is my practice section, okay? I think it's gonna be okay, as long as it's not too dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this with you. Um, I also uh, did pull out this little section right here. I'm gonna make this one little bitty piece, a rainbow piece in the front. That's so exciting. I wish my hair was longer, it's got to grow out. Well, let's go get this in my hair. Now, for the layering of the, the next section, all this is done, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna do this very, this solid purple part last. So this will go here to ensure that I don't get my beautiful colors on this. Now you can use um, mesh is another very common thing. I'm probably you know, I'm pushing dye all on my face, but that's okay. And then, but th this is a zero cling um, plastic wrap. You can get this at a Sally's or wherever. So, or you can use regular, whatever, regular uh, ceram wrap if that floats your boat. It just uh, might have a different effect. It's gonna stick a little bit more, so. All right. To start these sections, I'm just gonna show you the first couple sections and then we'll speed it up. So this will be done at an angle coming this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide this because this is a really big section. I'm just gonna go from the ear and angle up. And then we will have two sections. All right, so now we have this piece and then we're going to start with our first section just a little thin slice it goes through the width of that section See, it's kind of good I didn't put that in that yet now with this we're going to go ahead and start our pattern again angled straight now I'm going in like this this little thing we have I'm just going to go do the rainbow basically. So we have a lavender at the root. And you will see the pattern. We're not going to continue this through the whole thing. You'll see it has to, as I go, I'm, I'm, you'll see. I will show you. All right, next we're going to do peach and then yellow. green, blue, back to blue. Oh, that blends and makes such a pretty green. Oh, that's beautiful. This is so beautiful. I fucking love it. All right, we're gonna cover that with the piece. Like it is. And 
And now we go down a color. So for the pattern, so the next line, the, co the next color in the pattern is pink. So this one, we're gonna start with pink. And then as we go, it's gonna create that diagonal effect. Yes. And now the next layer starting out will be yellow. All right guys, I'm finally done putting all of this on my hair. She's looking a little crazy right now. I did do this, this piece. I really wish that I would have left this little piece before I thought about, you know, this. Um, this solid purple, but now it's kind of on there. So I hopefully it turns out okay. But this is what she looks like. We have our top, top veil piece. Some of it looks like it's blending together, so I'm slightly concerned. I just hope that I don't have a bunch of like weird, meshy color mush, you know? So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on my hair for a little while, about another hour or so, even though I, it literally has taken me three hours to do this. So this section has been on there for like three hours. I'm, but I, I'm going to leave this on here for a little bit longer. I'm going to rinse. I will be back with the final result. And I am so excited. Please that it turns out. I'll be back with the final results. Ta-da! This is the final result. What do you think? All right, so let's go over a few things. Let me show you the back first of all. I'm gonna show you it straight and then I will curl it and show you how it looks curled. So this is what it looks straight in the back. Now I'm also going to, let's, let's talk about this. You see this? Remember that little money piece slash panel I did in the front? That was a mistake. So this is, I, it wasn't thought clearly through. So it ended up leaving because I guess I did blue as the first color, you can see that right there. This whole, it was like all purple and then this big old blue streak in the middle. I was like, what is that? That's not gonna work. So I did put the dark purple on top of it. She still looks a little weird, but it's better than a bright blue piece. So those, that the rest of the color is still here for the ends of it, which I really like. I just wish that I would have done purple as the main front color and really thought that through before I did that full piece. Um, you can also see the color in the front here as well. So that turned out really well. Let me go ahead and lift my veil color so you can see how the actual design turned out. Again, there's some flaws. Let's go over it. My main takeaway is the thought was there, it was not executed the way that I wanted it to be done. I do not recommend doing it by yourself. You absolutely have to have help. I had my son and my husband trying to hold the mirror, trying to help me with the pattern, especially in the back. I could do these pieces like by myself, but the back panels, absolutely not. You have to have help. It's, it's not a one person job. So that's lesson number one. Lesson number two is you really need to make sure that all of the colors line up. That's where I failed. You're gonna laugh, you ready? So here's the underneath part. <laughs> you see that, this right here? What happened is I had these two panels and I divided them so we had two front sections and then I had two panels right here. Um, just mostly just to make it smaller. So I ended up, instead of that, see this one, I did more correct. I angled it, everything was angled this way and then did my pattern. And then on this one, by the end of that time, my brain was just fried, I was over it, I was done. I didn't wanna do it anymore. And I just wasn't thinking, so I fucked, I messed up. So this one, it was supposed to be angled this way. However, it ended up being mostly down. So it's like this and then like this. Like it, I, 
the other thing is see how I was alternating the pattern that's fine but I also needed to continue that into the back panel so that all of these would line up instead of being two separate things and that's where I messed up now if I was to do this on someone else I could do it perfect lessons learned you have to do these kind of things you have to make mistakes to learn from them to make them better so now I know what to do for the next time I also think that I would not add the blue and the green next to each other when I did my sample strand it turned out really well but for some reason as you can see I'm pulling a lot of greens and blues like I feel like this is mostly green and blue for whatever reason that's just what color stands out to me the most let me know in the comments below if that's what you think too but let me go ahead I'm going to curl it I'll show you what it looks like curled and I'll be right back Ta -da! okay this sucks um, I don't know what is happening but my hair will not curl so this is the best that I could do this is what it looks like it's definitely not what I was going for not the vision I was hoping for but let's do a little hairstyle I want to show you some options to show off the curl, I mean the curl, the color underneath. All right, this is my personal favorite. It just kind of lifts that top layer so you can really see it underneath. And then it brings it together slightly in the middle. But yeah, that's all I got for you. Well, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, learn from me, don't do what I did. Take the pattern, take the color, the style, whatever you want from this, and uh, try it yourself or have, well, not yourself, have someone else try it for you or help you with it would be a better thing. But yeah, um, I don't know if it's I'm exactly hollow or prism or whatever, but that's a rainbow pretty color. Well, yeah, that's, there she is. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, well, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up and add me on Instagram. I did create a new Instagram once I go back to school. Yes, I'm in hair school finally. Um, I'm hopefully going to get somebody to curl it for me, make it look pretty, and post a pretty picture on my Instagram. Uh, I just started that Instagram not that long ago, so please give me a follow there. You can see all the hair colors I've already done. Uh, all the hair colors I'm pr I'm going to do now and in the future as well as all the, the cool things I'm doing in hair school highlights and I did a balayage and haircuts and whatever you get to see it all first there on my Instagram as well as message me if you have any questions um, yeah and if you're not already what do you do with your life subscribe for more awesome videos and I will see you on my next one Okay, bye!